Memphis, Tennessee, Nick, and happy Sunday, y'all. Y'all, today for Sunday dinner, we're going to make some beef tips and gravy, girl. It's going to be so good. Okay. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to saute our vegetables. I got a whole onion here. I'm going to put that in now. And that's a, a little butter I got in the skillet. About two tablespoons of butter. And I got some green pepper that I chopped up. One green pepper. Bell pepper. Green bell pepper. <laughs> I chopped it up. Okay. And we're just going to saute this. I got a tablespoon of minced garlic, but I'm going to wait to the end. You know, so that gets sauteed before I put that in because I don't want it to burn. But yeah, we're just going to saute these vegetables so they get soft. And we're going to do this thing step by step, okay? Like I said, I put about two tablespoons of butter. This is one onion. One small onion and one green pepper. Okay. We're going to use two pounds of uh, beef tips or stewed beef, whatever you want to call it. We're using two pounds of it, okay? All right. Ooh, y'all just love how onions and peppers smell together. So good. When it's cooking, Lord. I could just eat that by, my, by itself. Can we put on a little bread or something and eat it? Ooh, it smells good. Okay. I just learned today some people eat uh onion sandwiches. I ain't never heard of that before. With some mayo. I ain't never heard of it before. But yeah, y'all, yeah, I'm going to let this go ahead and cook a little bit. And I'm going to be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and put this tablespoon of garlic in here. Put that in there. Huh? And you really don't even have to put that garlic that long. Ooh, it just smells so good. Mm, mm, Yeah, because if you tend to cook that, uh, if you cook that garlic too long, it'll start burning. It'll look brown. Okay. Ooh, it just smells so good. Just pop it, girl. Pop it. Okay. Now we're going to take this out of here. Put it in like a bowl. Put it in a bowl. We're gonna come back to it. We're gonna come back to it later. Yes, I am scraping all of it out. Okay, scraping all of good stuff out. Okay, now we're gonna put just a. You don't have to. If you still got a little butter left, you can. But just put a little bit of oil. This is that two pounds of uh, stewed meat I showed you. Well, I didn't show it to you. <laughs> two pounds of beef tips, stewed meat, whatever you want to call it. My hands is clean. I washed it off camera. And we basically just want this to brown. I'm not cooking it all the way. We just want it to brown. Get a little crisp. Get a little crisp. Okay. Hold on one second. Okay. Hold on. Get it, try to get it even as possible on the skillet. And it's just gonna cook for a few minutes until it gets brown all the way around on each side. It's brown. Okay.
And we're just gonna let that brown. It's gonna take about three, probably about three to five minutes to brown. And then we're gonna take it out and I'm gonna show you, okay? We'll be right back. Y'all, guess what y'all made me do? Y'all made me mess up. Why y'all didn't tell me I ain't put no doggo season on the beat? <laughs> Fool around with y'all. Well, y'all, we finna go ahead and season this beat while it's in this pot. I'm gonna put one pack of Lipton Onion Soup Mix. Y'all play too much, girl. Y'all play too much. Y'all play too much. We gonna go on and go on and get that off in there, y'all. While it's still trying to brown. Okay. But y'all, don't do like me. If the when the meat is raw, go on and put your season in there. I'm gonna put a little seed salt. Little garlic powder. A little onion powder. Even though we put that Lipton onion soup mix, still put that off in there. We're gonna put some Saison season in there. A little Saison. Put that off in there. And we're gonna put some Worcestershire sauce in there. Okay. Girl, y'all always do it. So quit talking to me while I'm trying to cook, girl. Quit trying to talk to me while I'm cooking. I'm trying to sabotage me. And I'm trying to cook this stuff to dinner. Like I said, don't do like me. Go ahead. Season your meat while it's raw. Okay. Season your meat while it's raw. I'm going to let this cook in this for a few minutes. Since y'all made me mess up. Since y'all made me mess up, I'm going to let it cook for a few minutes off in here. And then I'm going to take it out and put it in the bowl. And I'm going to be right back, okay? Okay, y'all. We're going to go ahead. Ooh, that smells so good. We're going to go ahead and put this in a bowl, okay? Put it in a bowl. Ooh, that smells so good. And y'all, okay, get back in the pot. Get back in this pot. Y'all see all that goodness in there? This is what we're finna do. We're finna put a little beef broth in there. Put a little beef broth. We're trying to get that goodness off in there. Ooh, it smells good. Okay. Get that off of there. I'm trying to scrape these sides because got some of that Lipton onion soup mix off in there. Okay. And just pull that off in there. Okay. Now we're going to season our, uh, we're going to season this broth. I'm going to put, y'all ain't going to let me, I ain't going to forget to season this, honey. Y'all quit talking to me. Quit talking to me. Quit talking to me, girl. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit more onion soup mix, half of the half the bag in here, half the bag. Okay, we're gonna put a little more garlic powder. We're gonna put a little more onion powder, just a little bit. Then we're gonna put, uh, hold on. Somebody stole my sights on. Put a little sights on in there. This is how it look, y'all, if y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, a little sights on. Put sights on. <laughs> y'all probably like, is she speaking French? I just put a little half the pack in now. Stir it. Okay. Now we're gonna uh we're gonna put the onions back in there. Ooh, ooh, that smells so good. Get that off in now. Okay. Then we're gonna put this good old meat back in now. 
I don't want the splash. Let me take out a couple of spoons at a time. Got that meat look good and ain't even cooked yet, girl. Even though y'all try to make me mess up. That's okay, though. I got y'all. I got y'all. Trying to hope y'all have a good Sunday and stuff. And you ain't say, girl, you ain't put no season on the meat. But y'all say everything else. You ain't tell me that. The main part. So you just want my food just taste bland today. And my family forced to eat this because you made me forget the season. Is that what it is? Okay, I got y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. It's okay. Now, put that out for now. Stir that off to get stir that together. We're gonna let this simmer. Let this cook for an hour. Probably about an hour and a half, because we want that meat good and tender. And then we're going to make a gravy for it, okay? You Go ahead and put a top on it. I got to get a top for it. Put a top on it. And, uh, hold on. Ooh. Wait a minute. Put a top on it. And we're going to uh, come back, and we're going to show you how we're going to do this gravy for this thing. Look at it. Get it off in that pot. Y'all see how that's gonna look? Ooh. Ooh. Look at her. Even though y'all did me wrong. That's okay. We're gonna show you how she's gonna look though. Okay. I'll be right back. Hey y'all, I'm back. Okay, y'all. This uh stew has been um these beef tips has been uh simmering for about two hours. And y'all. I put a, you can look in the pot. I put a bay leaf in here to simmer with it. You don't have to, but I did. You can let that simmer. So look at it, y'all. Look how she look so far. Okay. Now this beef broth is between two and three cups of beef broth. You can put more or less or whatever. If you want to mix it with water, it's up to you. Okay. Make sure you see, you taste your, uh, your broth. To see if you need any seasonings at this point. Okay. Now we're getting ready to make the gravy. Okay. What we're going to do. We're going to take some of this broth. Put it in a bowl or whatever. Or whatever. Okay. Put some of it in there. And then we're going to take some cornstarch. Let me move this to the side for a second. You can take some cornstarch or you can take some uh, flour. I got some cornstarch I'm going to put in here. See that? Mix it together. Because what we want to do, we want to thicken up this juice. Yeah, yeah, it depends on how fast your stove cook and everything. Uh, depending on, you know, how long you want to cook your beef tips. You want to take one out and see if it's tender to your liking. Hold on. Give me a little more juice. Okay. Then we want to take it and pour it in. Stir it in. And then it's going to start thickening up for us. I'm going to cook it for about 20 more minutes. So the gravy can thicken up. So my meat is already tender. 
Like I said, y'all, I cooked this for uh, two hours because I thought my meat needed to be a little more tender than what it was when I checked it at an hour and a half. So I cooked it for two hours. Also, y'all, like I said, this is a bay leaf I have in here. We're going to eventually take this out. We're not going to eat it, okay? Just for seasonings. Taste your uh, broth or taste your meat. See if it's to your liking. If not, season that thing. Put some more seasoning in it. Okay? Don't be afraid. Just don't make it too salty, okay? And we're just going to let that... Oh, look how it looks, though. Get in that pot. Get in that pot. You see? Mmm. But, yeah, I'm going to let it keep on cooking, y'all, so it can thicken up for us. And I'm going to be back. I'm going to show you, well, I'm going to show you uh, how she looks when she's sticking up. And then we're going to play the, we're going to play the later, okay? I'll play the later and show you, okay? Be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Okay, this is how I want my gravy to look. You see? Get off in that pot. See how this how I want mine to look. Okay? And don't forget to go ahead and take that bay leaf. If you use a bay leaf. Go ahead and fish that out of there. Take it out. And that's about it, y'all. Look at her. Ain't she cute? Look at her. Yes. Okay, I'm going to play it up for y'all. So y'all can see how she going to look real cute and dressed up. I'll be right back. Hey, y'all. I'm back. And I'm finished with these B-tips, girl. Look at that B-tips and rice. Huh? Look at her. Look at her. Don't she look all savory and stuff? <laughs> she cute. She cute. All of that dog on mountain of rice. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> That's Sunday dinner for the day. Mm-hmm. Y'all try to sabotage me earlier, but I came back with a bang. But uh, <laughs> thank y'all so much for tuning in with me on this Sunday, y'all. I really appreciate it. I hope y'all staying safe out there. We had a lot of rain here last night and today, so we having some little flooding issues here today. But I hope y'all are safe. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, leave a like, click on, click on that little like button. Make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified every time I kick, you know, come on the screen, you know, so you see my face and stuff. But yeah <laughs> like i said y'all i hope y'all stay safe out there make sure you share it on your social media too y'all so everybody else can get a taste of it but y'all stay safe i love y'all and i'm gonna see you again next time bye bye